probably my second favorite peptide right after the SS31 is the thymosin alpha-1. Um, you know, the thymosin alpha-1 um, even had an orphan uh, FDA drug designation, um, you know, early in 2013 because uh, uh, it was being given as an adjuvant with uh, other types of, of drugs within uh, melanoma to help have our immune system fight cancer cells. Um, and so I love the thymosin alpha because it's an endogenous product. It's something that our body already makes um, to help increase in the immune system. Um, so one of my favorite anecdotes about thymosin alpha-1 is that um, it's one uh, it, its production is massively increased during pregnancy for women um, in order to help protect the fetus and protect their own immune system. Um, and so, uh, but with that being said, you know, it has lots of different immune modulatory interactions. Um, and it sort of, uh, you know, promotes T helper cells, it promotes cytotoxic T cells, it increases B cells and antibody production. It's just an immune stimulation product across the board. Um, and with that, you know, it can help with cancer, it can help with recovering from viral illnesses, it can help reduce senescence even, um, some of these other longevity pathways. And so uh, by just activating the immune system, uh, but not making it too active, uh, in, where it can be harmful, I think it's, it's a really, really amazing peptide with great safety and tons of tons of benefits.